We're here at the Wyoming Dinosaur uh, Center in Thermopolis, Wyoming on the Road Scholar Dinosaur Day. We're currently at our BS quarry, which stands for below sauropod, and we have up to three chimerosaurs at this quarry. Now this, uh, this gives you a tremendous appreciation for what, the, uh, what a professional paleontologist does. It's always been a passion of mine, geology, paleontology, things of this nature, and it just was an instant curiosity to go ahead and fulfill. One of the highlights of this program is being the first person to see a dinosaur bone. No one else has seen it in 145 million years. You're the very first human, first person, first anything to see this bone come out of the ground. It's hard to find the bones. <laughs> They're very little and an Allosaurus was a very big dinosaur. Now we find digging, digging in the strata and moving the little bits and pieces uh, uh, quite an experience say, of tedious, but yet expectation of wondering what will show next. No telling what you might find. I chose this program because I'm a science teacher and I've always wanted to go out and look for dinosaur bones and we don't have anything like this in Georgia. Road Scholar participants I have found that are pretty excited to learn. They're very helpful. Uh, they're excited to be part of the scientific process. We've been working in the lab and learned how they actually have to clean the bones and it is not an easy job. We've been um, digging in the rocks at the excavation site and it's mostly some pretty soft mudstone and shale so it's been pretty easy to pull away and you're just looking for something that doesn't look like everything else. But it's an excellent experience to, to feel part of the earth and to enjoy it and, and to realize, wow! Look how old that is. You know, you can't imagine something 600 million years ago, and we're looking at it. The highlight for me so far has been the opportunity to find fossils, because it's something that I really enjoy, and um, finding the sauropod fossil is really neat. A lot of people don't have the opportunity to dig dinosaur bones. Uh, it's usually a dream of a lot of people, especially children, and sometimes that dream continues on as an adult. So a lot of people are excited that they can live their dream. It's on their bucket list. I guess we're still expecting to find that big piece of dinosaur that sticks out and uh, yeah, right. says, here I am. <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> <laughs>